the 2023 Wheel of Mud Super Bowl champion, 6'5", 245 pounds, handsome wow. And we have something special for you. Yeah, what's that? As champion, yeah. you get the ring! Hey. Oh. That's real diamonds. That's real gold. Bro, that ring was $45,000. Dude, what are you doing? Put on my ring thing. I'm married to the game. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is your champion. After the most historic season with the most handsome player behind the sticks. Rolly bust down avalanche. Yeah, my old bitch average. It's my first time rapping it. I might suck some dick. Give a round of applause for our champion, MMG. Get out. Get out. Yeah. Hey, what's up, you guys? I was supposed to do all of that in the first episode, but as you can tell, we actually switched up the entire studio. A whole lot has happened. We got our ring ceremony. I got my first ring. Hopefully, we can get a few more, and by the end of the season, I can look like Tom Brady. Look who, look who got pardoned. He spent 11 months in the clink. This guy right here, he knows. Volodovsky spent 11 months in the clink. He finally gets out. He's a changed man. He says he spent his time in prison reading a lot of books. He said he thought a lot about reform. And um, he also said some things that I don't want to talk about. But if he wants to talk about them, Tito, do you want to? Fuck it right in a pussy. Tito! He's a... Uh, dude, I'm going to get demonetized. Do you care about revenue at all? Now, if you missed the season two season opener, it would answer the question as to why I'm in a Dolphins jersey right now. Now, what I decided to do at the start of every week of month season and this is brand new was spin a wheel to determine my playbooks and my team so this season we landed on miami dolphins so i'm rocking dolphins uniforms i'm rocking mike mcdaniel as head coach dolphins stadium is historically horrible and madden because the lighting angles are just dog shit so i am rocking falcon stadium and in episode one we were able to add some monsters to the team so most importantly we got andrew luck the captain which is a ridiculously good card also a hilarious card Card, but we've got protected and gunslinger protected being so important because my shitty o line doesn't necessarily play like a shitty o line my hat back right now is raheem moster he is so good and he's a dolphin so it kind of makes sense wide receivers are dog shit even my prestige jamar chase is kind of outdated since there's no new jamar chase yet so that is a bummer we've got our new prestige rob gronkowski so nothing to worry about there we also have a backup noah fan and then at linebackers we have 89 daniel hunter at left outside linebacker we got bosa on the d line we got Dermot in the skies that's pretty much it the rest of these are golds i mean it's the second episode our team's kind of supposed to be shitty we got some work to do let's put it that way and as i look at this team i think my backfield's the only thing i can't mess with i think i could get a fullback but dude that most dirt is nasty so i'm not gonna get anything for him we get an ultimate kickoff 85 so i do get a choice of a playoff here now this is the same promo that last season's trenton simpson came from trenton simpson was amazing he's probably still the best pick but i'm not gonna rock the same player again this whole promo really had some nasty cards dude getting a wide receiver like quentin johnson would be kind of sick whoa this card is good whoa i thought he was gonna be like 82 speed so he's 85 speed he's 6'4 so he's like a little baby megatron 87 spec good route running 90 oh he's on my list my decision is made we're adding to the offense i know that we need secondary like we have no good players in the secondary other than derwin james oh we're picking up another charger all right chargers fans you're welcome chargers you guys barely beat a backup quarterback aiden o'connell shut up bitch when you had six sacks i can talk shit now my lions are three and one we're a top five team in the nfl Gay! dude i used to talk shit to nfl fan bases and people go, bro, you're a Lions fan. Ugh. Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Quentin Johnston is our new wide receiver too. He does get abilities. Probably won't use any of them. I'll give him double me since I think that's all I have the AP for. I think I'm maxed out already on offense. Yeah, I am, but I can fit in one more X factor. So that'll be Quentin Johnston. And we can also activate run and gun on Andrew Luck. I didn't realize that was not activated. All right, the newest addition is Quentin Johnston out of TCU. I, I like this. I like this a lot. All right, y'all getting into the second wheel spin. I can't be greedy. I cannot go offense on this pick. I have to go defense on this pick. Okay, there should be some good options in here. GG's low jackpot, so I can get any gridiron guardian player in the game. It just cannot be the top tier ones. So the top tier ones are still all 89s, I believe. It's actually the exact promo that that Daniil Hunter comes from. Yeah, so the top tier is like AJ Brown, Teron Armstead, Kyrie Elam, Quentin Nelson. So we can get anything that's not those. I think they all start at 86s. They do. So there's a Chris Manhurt, Zach Allen, Brian Allen. Ooh, 
Ooh, I forgot about this Jeff Okuda. This Jeff Okuda is kind of nasty. We kind of have to take this here. As a Jeff Okuda hater, I don't want to take it. All right, boys. Jeff Okuda. 86 speed, 85 acceleration. It's actually a really good card. It's a really good card. 86 foot one, which is a great height for a, for a corner. 72,000 coins, 86 overall corner. That is our first non-gold corner on this lineup. Now, I don't like to plan prestiges this early because that's really aggressive. You got to make the Super Bowl to get a prestige. But I usually prestige a corner because there's three cornerback positions. It's just a position you want to prestige. And I passed on prestiging primetime this last time around. So hopefully we get an opportunity to prestige somebody really good. Jeff Okuda is definitely not that guy. I don't think Jeff Okuda is going to continue to get really good corner cards. Well, if we could get like Sauce Gardner, Sauce would be really good. He was actually perceived last year. Uh, who else would be good? Christian Gonzalez. That's who would be a nasty pickup for this team. Christian Gonzalez. If I could just get any Christian Gonzalez card and prestige it, bro, he's been having such a good year. I know he's going to get some nasty cards. Oh my God, we live in a world where the Lions are a good franchise right now and the Patriots are poverty. That shit is nuts. Hey, and we get an 87 to 88 team wheel. So any 87 to 88 overall player in the game, but I'm confined to one single. Hey, but I, if it was going to be the Patriots, I was going to cry. It's the Fudge Packers. Do we have any Packers on this team already? We have Rashawn Gary, I think. Yeah, we got Rashawn Gary. Sorted by overall, it looks like the Packers got some legend. Dave Robinson. I'm not going to lie. Dave Robinson. I thought he was an NBA player. That's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. God, shut up. It's a joke. Dave Robinson is actually fucking insane. This card is insane. Unfortunately, this is truly, to me, this is truly like plumbers and mailman days. I just don't care about Dave Robinson, man. I don't think I was even born when this guy was playing football. He was the round one pick 14 in the 1963 NFL draft. Pretty sure we were in the middle of World War II. So my other two options, there's Charles Woodson, who's insane. There's Emmanuel Wilson, and then it kind of falls off a cliff after that. So I think we're getting some insane DBs today. For 355,000 coins, we get Charles Woodson. You got double 90s on man and zone cover, so you can run whatever you want and he's gonna clamp. He's also 6'1", 202, so the same build as Jeff Okuda. He's just faster and better in every other category. He also gets... Damn, he's got three ability slots? What? Uh, he doesn't get anything too crazy. Now, that said, I'm gonna rock pick artist for two AP on Charles Woodson. I'm not gonna use anything else and we'll give him a... We'll give him a shutdown. Wow! Serious corner upgrades. Keep in mind, Charles Woodson definitely can play safety. Like, he can play safety really well, so right now I have some bum in at free safety. I I'm a little tempted to move Charles Woodson up there. We're just gonna rock him at corner, and if I start to get concerned, I'll move him up to free safety, because right now, my free safety is Reed Blank and shit. Ooh, actually, you know what we can do? I'll move Charles Woodson here, and then DeMar Hamlin's gonna come out for Tyson Anderson. DeMar Hamlin, by the way, is dog shit. Yeah, the guy damn near died. You couldn't give him, like, 80 speed. <laughs> it's also messed up. They gave that DeMar Hamlin a zero in toughness. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna make Tyson Anderson my CB3, bro. Do not fucking sleep on Tyson Anderson. Tyson Anderson is such a dog. Taller plus six speed plus three excel. Yes, yeah, so that's my CB3 is Tyson Anderson. We got Woodson at CB2, Okuda at CB1. To be honest, I don't really notice a difference on who's CB1 and CB2. And of course, the challenge wheel. The challenge wheel, if completed, gives us one of any pack in the store that costs us coins. Ooh, I don't know if I've ever completed this one. I don't think I have. 16 plus. So in one quarter of football, I got to score 16 points or more. So two touchdowns, two two-point conversions, or two touchdowns and a field goal, something like that. I'm sure we'll find a way to make it work. But I don't know. I mean, you guys have seen it. There's been a lot of rage quits this year. So to score 16 plus and not get a rage quit, it's almost like my opponent would have to score that much too. Or we just play someone who's not a beta cuck. He's got Michael Vick, Bo Jackson, and Aaron. Hey, that's a squad. He's like, I'm thinking the same thing. The Captain Gronk and Daniil Hunter. Miami Dolphins, baby. We got the home field advantage. Also, I'm very grateful that Miami Dolphins defense has the same formation I really like. I know I said going Dolphins would like switch up my... Okuda, nice tackle. Sorry, I'm talking. I need to get locked in. I need to talk about the game. All right, let's switch to nickel defense. I want it to be a nickel so that I can have all the right guys out there. You got Tyson Anderson down the middle. I like it. He'll go... Oh, wow. Nice throw. First and 10. We're going to look at a man blitz here. Blank and ship is on the halfback. He is going to run it. Oh, wow. I thought that dive was totally there. Damn, he splits another seam. This guy is just slowly walking me down the field. Three for three, 50 yards. If we're going to make a stop, it's right now. 
Tyson Anderson! God, he's such a beast! Tyson Anderson! Dude, that was so greedy of him. He was moving that ball so well just to throw that. This is a bad, it was a trash ball. They don't do this in real life, but Gronk has Vanguard. We're following him to the promised land. Just kidding. I really didn't follow my blocks very well there. Let's just see how this looks. There's Quentin Johnston. Got him. Great ball. God, I love this Andrew Luck. Gonna go RPO against this. Quentin Johnston was open, but what? Dude, I need a center. I can't believe how important the center has been in these games. Like, I've never noticed a silver center so much until recently. That looked like I had so much room to work with, but Ragnall's getting no push. Second and nine. Let's go Mostert underneath. Does he see it? Yes, but he's not quick enough. I love you, Mostert. That had fumble written all over it. Play action slot under. I think Jamar Chase is... No, he played up. Oh, no, he's behind it. Shit. Good pass rush. I'm gonna try a slip screen here, though. Does he see it? He doesn't really see it. Good. No. Oh, block him. I need I need old linemen. So, I need old linemen so bad. Dude, fuck you. There's just no... Uh, 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 uh. Pussy! Oh, my God. It's the first quarter, so it doesn't count. I get a spin on the rage quit wheel. A choice of a gold player? I don't know if I've... <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny, that sounds super shitty, but I would love a 79 center right now. By the way, anybody who missed last episode, I said I was so sick of rage quits and just how OP they were that if someone rage quits in the first half, it does not count as a win, but I do get a spin on the rage quit wheel. And a choice of a gold player. I'm taking the red tornado. Ryan Jensen, 79 overall gold. He actually has really good run blocking stats, much better than pass block. And that's perfect because I have protected. So with protected, he's gonna pass block way better anyway. This is the exact center I was looking for. And hey, a 79 gold, that's it's basically an elite. So it's just like a shitty core elite. I am so game for that, man. That's huge. Rich homie Herm. He's got Rondé Barber, Bryce Young, Dory Jackson. He's got a ton of those no money spent players. I think Rich homie Herm's a no money spent boy. Got a home field advantage again. Let's just run it right back. I'm going to send Quinn Johnson to the end zone. And then we're just going to run mesh underneath here. I think... No, actually, that was probably the perfect throw. I was, about to, I was about to chastise myself, and I don't think I needed to. That was beautiful. Let's run out of slot close. I've never ran out of this before. We got a sub Gronk out for Fan, and then Gronk in for Parrish. So Gronk has an interesting block here. It kind of looks like he goes... Oh, no. He goes straight up. Ooh. Dude, that was against an all-out blitz, too. I love that. I love that you actually can load up in this. Come on. Let's see. Can we follow Gronk one more time? Oh, a massive pancake. Dude, he said he said too many. He said the whole house. Oh, I wish I had an outside run out of that. Third and two. I think he's expecting. Oh, I got him. Hey, Noah fan. That was scary. Scary, scary business right there, but it worked. I feel like this is going to go fucking yard. I said I need to score as quick as humanly possible. Come on. Oh. Oh, one more Mostert. I took two Bengals with me. One play X. Let's see if he follows Mostert. Because that's where I want to throw. No, he's not on it. What a ball from Andrew Luck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at this offense. That was a very difficult throw. I'm proud of Andrew Luck on that one. He's just going to do this over and over. I'm going to hit Mostert. He's going to jump the wrong side. Yep. Pff, got your ass, boy. Like that Mike Blitz, huh? Oh, shit. Oh, wow. I should have done. I'm going to try the inside zone. I think he's going to get ready to blow it up, but Mostert might just be built like that. Fourth and inches. I believe in Mostert. He doesn't get stuffed twice. Let's go. I hit Mostert. Fourth and inches. If I want my challenge, I need 16 points in one quarter. I've got six right now. There's two minutes left. I'd have to get this two point, get the, ooh, it's, it would be hard. I'm not going to get three possessions though. So I got to, I got a full blown go for this. Two point conversion. Let's see it boys. Jamar Chase out route. What a fucking route, Jamar. Let's go. That was beautiful. I have to go on Amari Bernie if I run this though, unfortunately. Oh. He was Silver Aiden Hutchinson almost just came up with one. I think he expects this to be a blitz. I'm guessing pass though. So, okay, nice. Tight end. Oh, slip screen. Oh, oh my God, Bosa. Nick Bosa gets home. Third and 22. Tight end. He has tight end. He has tight end. That's okay. Oh, what a fuck. Ooh, who is Brown? I don't even know who Brown is. He just got tore up. Good defense. 
huge break up there from Derwin James. Gronk's ability is back, but now he's on the left side of this. I actually almost like this better. So does he get... It didn't kind of... It really didn't look like he was getting any pancake animation there, though. Maybe because he started down on the line, he didn't have the momentum. Oh. That blitz is coming in too fast. I need to block somebody. I'm blocking Gronk here so that we hopefully get a little bit more time. And he keeps... So he's usering that, and then as soon as it gets thrown, he switches off. Holy shit. Go outside, buddy. Pascal's not going to be able to... This guy actually switches off every single catch. I think Gronk might be my guy, hilariously. Wow. He got fucking mugged all the way down the field. It wasn't even catchable because that DB was inside of him. Damn, I really thought we could get that. He throws a dog shit ball right to Rashad Gary. He's gonna choke out Bryce Young. And he's gonna keep going, Rashad Gary. It's a Green Bay Packer day. Oh my God. We pick up Woodson and Rashawn Gary makes that play. Dude, after he stopped me on defense, that was, I mean, that's a huge play to make. So here's what he's doing. The user is just committing. Hold up. I was about to say, can I do this? Oh my God, Moster. What the? F you are a snake, dude. What? I thought, I thought I was going for a, maybe a yard there. I think I might just be able to get it just like this. Moster. Moster is such a god. Dude. Mostert has five touchdowns in two games right now. And now with this PAT, I increase this lead to 15 to six. Now, you're saying to yourself, Matt, if you want to get 16 plus, you needed to go for two there. You're, you're totally right. You are totally right about that. I'm not going to pretend like you're not. But dude, this is actually a really close game. He's already turned me over once. Um, and now I've turned him over once. I'm actually concerned that he could win this game. So it's way more important to me that I have that nine point lead than I complete my challenge wheel. I heard you like man blitzes. So I'm going to man blitz. On your fucking dome piece. Oh, that was a touchdown, I think. Bryce Young gets that pass off. I think I was in deep, dark trouble. Let's just play deep on this. I'm going to hop on Rashawn Gary. And I'm going to use a Rashawn Gary. Oh, I'm fucking dangerous. I'm not running man again. He, he tore up my man last time. Oh, oh, what a ball. Did he mean to do that? Or did that just happen? He floated it so damn high that I couldn't pick that. I don't think he meant... He, he might have meant to do that. I can't say that he didn't. <laughs> I respect it. I respect the play. He drills a dig right there, and he's got himself in scoring range at the two-minute warning. Let's see if he plays clock game. I knew it! Oh! <laughs> oh, I knew it was coming! I'm going back to even. I'm actually going to drop Bosa and Hutchinson into coverage, then just cover the middle with Amari Bernie. That's fine! That's fine! Derwinson! I knew you wanted that! Derwin's having a monster game. Huge pass deflection on the two-point conversion and a turnover in the red zone. Oh, yeah. Oh, that just gets you horny. Yeah. No way, Jamar Chase. No, don't tell me this could be the quarter. That, oh, no. Dude, if I score in this quarter, I'm going to be mad at myself. Mm, Got to follow him here. Most will take a little bit. It's third and nine. Here's the good thing. My opponent's not calling timeouts. I'm actually going to let this clock go. If I can just, if I can head into half with this lead, I'm chilling. <gasps> he gets the wrong side. He tried to jump Mostert on the right. Oh, Andrew Luck threw that laser with pressure right in his face, dude. There were guys coming in Andrew Luck's face, and he still delivered. He wasn't going to stop until the job was finished, but those guys were coming right in his face. 23 seconds. We run the ball. We run the ball on these downs. We run the fucking ball on these downs. Raheem Mostert owns you. Holy shit. Shit, Raheem Mustard is a god. I brought out the I brought out the Dolphins jerseys and we're going crazy. But with an RPO look here. What a pancake from Wyatt Teller. Second and goal. That's my final timeout. Coach definitely wants me to throw this. And I understand that. But if I get sacked, I don't get any points. You think I get him with the Jamar Chase out route again? <sighs> I knew what I was doing was greedy and I still did it. I think he's looking for three in the seam. <sighs> Bad ball. Derwin James is a fucking demon. I can't wait till Derwin James gets a most feared card. Because I know he's getting a most feared card. Oh, and he's he's already such a beast at 86 overall. Can you imagine when he gets updated? <gasps> 71 overall, Amari Bernie. I don't think he's ran the ball a single fucking time. Nice little wheel route there. He might go halfback again. <sighs> Bad ball. Dude. That's the second time he threw right at Rashawn Gary's face. This defense is giving him a lot of trouble. I got to stay in this. 
What do you like, Bryce Young? Just gonna throw that nice one? I respect that. Took an absolute hit for it. But I like the play call. I'm on Derwin. I gotta cover three here. Oh, lob it up here. Oh, Bryce Young, you know how bad I wanted you to chuck that shit. Dude, this is the defense he's run on me every single play. Mike Blitz. If I stack him with it, I'd lap my ass off. Ooh. He's gonna run the football and Derwin! Dude, Derwin's been everywhere today. Second and seven. I think that was his first run play. He's gonna check this one down. That's a TFL. I gotta go man here. Oh, no. I'm getting over to three myself. No! Slip screen. Dude, why do people... <gasps> what the fuck are you doing, Amari Bernie? Why are you jumping to swat the ball? Nice play. And he, fi and he finds Michael Mayer right past Amari Bernie. I have no idea why he jumped like he was swatting it. Did ma maybe I hit a wrong button or something. That was a nice throw by my opponent there. To run stretch left side. Look how much room is here. This guy is so beta. I don't think he's made a single tackle himself. He's gonna do it again. Oh, rich homie Herm, I'm sorry. That was an excellent tackle attempt. I think Jamar's open. Jamar is stupid open. It's a hell of a drive so far. Nine for 11, 139, and an interception for the captain. Crucial drive here, but right now we're moving the ball really, really well. Let's see if he's usering the back. So he doesn't... That's like the first time he didn't actually user this, but Raheem Mostert is so fucking good. Just got to read the user. That's just, and he's, that's just insane. Five man rush. It's not very, oh my God, it's going to be the same thing. He's not going to have the speed to do it. Just got to make the read. He's there. Oh my fucking God, Jamar Chase. Let's go! 39! Delivery! Not to mention we can milk a little bit more clock, but really, a touchdown puts this game away. That was massive. Absolutely massive. I'm gonna go weak side here. <laughs> it's fucking insane how good this Ricky Mustard is. Alright, ball on line. And there's Darnay Holmes. <gasps> Matt? Oh, I could have gotten my challenge too. I could have. Ah, ah. Guys, shut up! Guys, I'm having fun! Guys, I thought for sure I wanted to flex on him. This guy's been running the same fucking blitz the entire game. I wanted to sh I wanted to flex on him. Is that so much to ask? Keep him in bounds. Oh no. Three, 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 three. I knew it! I owe you! God, give me some fucking cup! Tyson Anderson, some linebacker, best decision I ever made. It's a wrap! We can only vaguely see the stats right now. Like, you can see it behind that Pierce can see to the game. But Andrew Luck, zero touchdowns in the last two games, I think. I don't think he's thrown one. But Mostert has been so unbelievably consistent that Andrew Luck's just getting down the goal line and saying, ah, fuck it. I don't gotta worry about red zone efficiency. Let me just hand this puppy off. So as far as Wheel of Mud is concerned, I'm 2-0. and o. Okay, so technically we had a rage quit in the first episode and in the second episode that we didn't count. So I'm not 4-0. I'm not about to be in the playoffs. We're 2-0. All right, y'all. Hey, that is it for episode two, Wheel of Mutt. I'm not going to count that as a rage quit at the end. He just wanted to get to the lobby faster. That game was over. Wow, Jamar played great. Quinn Johnson, I think, had a few catches. Wasn't too involved because it was really the Raheem Mostert show. Andrew Luck threw so many good balls. His balls were so incredible despite guys coming in his face the entire game. Uh, offensive line, Ryan Jensen. You know what? They put up a great fight. They helped for Mostert. We just got to worry about Colby Sorsdahl and Jordan McFadden. Get them some upgrades. We'll be good. Uh, got to get Zach Pascal out of here. I'd love to get a legit fullback so that we don't have to literally sub and Gronk every single time, even if he doesn't have his ability. And then defensively, gotta get rid of Amari Bernie, bro. This game would have been over on that slip screen if I had somebody else. Rashawn Gary, outside linebacker, he's solid. Dalen Graham's gotta go. Blankenship's gotta go. Darnay Holmes has gotta go. Shelton, Johnson, Hutch, gotta go. Gotta say, boys, hell of a game. You can tell that the wheel of my season is gonna get a lot better now that we took this rage quit shit out. That was a hell of a game. Hey, I love you guys. Thanks for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.